Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got another good video for you guys today. RMA hooked us up with another uh, level four plate and we are super excited. And we had a friend, Tom, bring us out this beautiful Black Ace Tactical FD-12 Bullpup Shotgun. This thing is gorgeous, man, and is a, a lot of fun to shoot. So what we got here for rounds today, which we don't think, we're pretty sure none are gonna go through. Uh, so we got we got your regular um, Black Ace Tactical uh, rounds here. We got nine shot. We have their 12 gauge slug here, which I think these, let's see, they're about 1,700 feet per second. Pretty cool. Then we got this weird thing. Uh, this is basically like a 50 cal hollow point projo inside this bad boy. It's a copper solid magnum round. And then we're gonna hit it with the 12 gauge API. Um, not really fans of these. They're, I'm not sure why they claim them to be an API round when they're made out of lead, not steel. But we're gonna try it anyways. And I know you guys are saying, oh man, you guys aren't gonna get through that armor and blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna do something cool for you guys at the end, so make sure you hang around. We are going to bring out our beautiful new baby, the SG-43, and we're gonna pop like 20 rounds off and show you how to defeat some RMA body armor, the king of body armor, yes. You need, um, you need something with a uh, full auto giggle switch here, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, you guys don't forget to check out Hunting for Connections. If you're into anything outdoor, shooting, biking, horse riding, whatever, you can find your significant other there. And if you find one, they may give you a free t-shirt. We just got a free t-shirt because I've already been married for 30 years, but we got a free t-shirt. Check this place out. They're really cool people and um, nice people on the site and stuff. You can find your significant other there. So enough jib jabbing, let's get to it. All right, so first round up is the Black Aces Tactical Double Op Buck. So there's nine pellets in here. These are tra traveling at 1,425 feet per second. Let's see how many pellets actually hit the armor at this distance. We're probably, how far are we? 50 yards, really? <laughs> I think we're at what, 10 yards maybe? All right, here we go. Well, I guess there's a chamber at first, right? <laughs> there we go. Well, a few of them hit, that's for sure. Clear. All right, good shot, Justin. I'm, I'm perude of you. So, obviously nothing done to the front. I don't feel any messed up ceramic or nothing, but um, I don't even think it just went through that first like rubber layer here. You could still feel some of the pellets in there. So obviously nothing, still wouldn't want to get hit with the buckshot from 10 yards. So let's move on to the next. It didn't fall in the dirt either, so nobody's going to complain about that. <laughs> Man, this wind is really picking up, blowing cameras over and crap, so hopefully that one stays. So next round up is the Black Aces Tactical Slug. It's a hollow point rifled one ounce slug. This one's traveling at 1,640 feet per second. Ready? All right. What part of the plate you want me to hit? Top left. <laughs> all right. Hopefully I can hit top left. And Chris will stop yelling at me all the time. I don't know where that hit, but we'll find out. Clear. Okay. He hit right where I told him not to. I was 
told them to hit up here, but you know, it's the wind and the round's really heavy. So they drop like a 40 millimeter. Um, that would have hurt really bad. I don't, this fabric is really good. So you can uh, see the slug right there. This will make for a, I'll tell you, it knocked the wind out of you for sure. So good size bulge on the back on that one. But again, you're still, uh, you're still in one piece because this is the king of body armor. All right, next one is that funky hollow point looking fizzy thing. Let's do it. Ain't she a beaut, look at that. That should cause some damage. Maybe not necessarily in body armor, but in flesh it totally would. We'll have to do the ballistics gel test with this thing later. All right, so this one, solid copper hollow point. Unknown velocity on this one. Try to hit the top of the plate. This thing's pretty well balanced. I probably shoot it one-handed. Not going to, not right now though. That had some force behind it. That was a good one. Clear. All right, Justin is a little off today. I think it's the gravity rotation of the earth or something. It's pulling these rounds down. Actually, I'm sure that thing is super heavy. So it hit right here where it was already compromised by the buckshot and still. I mean, don't get me wrong. You'd probably be out of breath for a few seconds with that hit. You see now it... Uh, the force just moved that uh, sandbag back. But yeah, it hit right there. I don't know if we could see anything in there. We'll cut this open at the end. See if we can find anything before we nuke it with the uh, the full auto. No, I don't, I don't see any. Oh, there's a little copper yet. Yeah, so it hit right here. Uh, there you go, Justin. Cool. We got to dig that out. I don't know if I can see it. Yeah. Eh. That's all right. Cut it out. We'll uh, it's moving, so Woo! it's hot though, Edwin. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, the API. See how that one does. Here we go. Man, this wind really picked up today. So if I miss, it's the wind's fault. But this is gonna be the uh, 12 gauge API. Here we go. Nice. Clear. Somebody hold Justin down. He's going to blow away. All right. I hit low on this one. I was aiming up here. They do drop a little bit, or the sight is off a little bit. So, but I hit down here. Um, just peppered out the bottom. It did shatter the ceramic, but nothing through this back. Whatever this stuff is, RMA needs to. Uh, Send Justin and I some of this for our body armor. Maybe it'll work a lot better. But there you go, four 12 gauge round slugs, um, double lot buck, crazy copper round, API, held up no problem. And we knew that. Hey, there you go, there it is. I can tell because it's hot. <laughs> so there's some there. Um, anybody got a knife? Oh, all right, we're gonna cut this thing open and try to find that that cool copper one. Holy cow, that's a... Don't cut yourself. No kidding. All right, there you go. That's another one there. It's a, she's a keeper. That's a beaut. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, man. Now we're going to show you what that SG-43 is going to do to this RMA armor. About 20 rounds are going to pop off. Let's do it. 
go, go, you got stuff to do, man. All right, so I got my buddy here from Manson's Munitions gonna help me hold this thing steady because it's not the most stable mechanism and it's gonna help me feed my belt. I don't know how many rounds are gonna hit the plate. I'm gonna try for all of them. And we're well within compliance to YouTube because it's less than 30 because that makes sense. I'm gonna charge it this way. All right. Oh man, this is gonna get all sorts of squirrely. I think. I think maybe like a round hit. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Okay, so Justin used the setup in the anti-aircraft. We haven't tried that yet, so we wanted to try it uh, in the down position that we did in this video here with the SG43. It is, it is solid. This one, not so much. You're like, okay, the plane's up there somewhere. <laughs> but he did hit it once and it went through. <laughs> so he hit, uh, right here. Hit right here. It was a compromise from different rounds. And it got the one shot through. So that's pretty cool. Still freaking love that SG-43. It is amazing. Same with that bullpup shotgun. Thank you, Tom, for letting us borrow that. Thank you guys for all your support. Don't forget to pick up your Going Ballistic t-shirt and check out our Instagram page where we post a lot of this stuff before and after we make videos. So thanks for watching everybody, we'll be back.